Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I show you how easy you can create 3D animations only from videos. And then you can export these 3D animations into any kind of 3D software and you can use them with your own characters. The program or AI tool, what I show you in this video, we already used in two times, in two different tutorials. But this feature is brand new. You go to motion.com, the link you find in the video description, and then you click here, create in Discord. Then you enter to the Discord server. This is Motion AI 3D. And then go to a creation channel here. Just choose one. Then you can see the other creations here from other members. Click here, slash, and capture. Then here choose the video file. I prepared a fighter, this fighting video here, and I want to create a 3D animation from this video. Here you can choose the character. For me, I like this Rebella. In place, you choose false and then hit enter and then it took something like three minutes and your character is ready your animation have a look here this is the original video and now have a look on our final animation wow that's pretty cool i really like it with this Ribella character, you get the best results I found. Okay? Great. And now let me show you something. Now you can create another video here with Video Gen. This is just for create a video file with a different character. Here you can describe any type of character you want. Maybe let's say a uh, panda bear with a green cap and white sneakers. Insanely realistic. This is the prompt and you can choose the style. Zero is for digital and if you change it into one it's like an anime style but we leave it as digital now let's see what we get and now our panda beer is ready have a look here just a little bit strange and it is not we don't get all the 13 seconds it's just a very short click clip but it is okay I think they will improve it very soon, this tool, okay, or this part of this tool, but I like it for now. It is just uh, one more thing, what I want to show you, but the thing in this video, I want to show you how to create this animation here and how to use this for your own animated characters. The first thing we're gonna do is we download our FBX file, or our animation as FBX file, just do it here. Then you go to this download page. So I do it like that. I don't want the character. I don't want the full character. I only want the animation or only the, the bone structure. So I move it here on my desktop and then open Blender. Let's go to File, Import and FBX. All right, now our character is here. Good, at first we can hide this mesh, the human base mesh. And I click here because we don't want the object. We don't need the character itself or the mesh from this character. Like 
delete and this glasses or whatever delete and also this hat delete now we get only the bone structure here and here we can open the dope sheet where we can see all of the keyframes you can see now here is the we get the full animation you can go here to the timeline and play play you can see it plays the animation okay now we go to edit mode and we give every bone now a name let me show you why because when I activate here now because we have to add just the bones to our character to this character okay and the thing is at the moment when we do that and we activate the X mirror that means that it mirrors one side to the other side when we move this bone you can see that the other bone isn't moving and this is because of these bones they have different names let me show you here motion rig the name from the rig and then left hand and the name of this is right hand and we have to change this we just name it hand dot L and L that means it's for the left side and here we do the same thing hand dot R that means for the right side and now we can have a look here now the mirror function works and now we have to do the same thing with all the other bones only here in the middle bones we don't have to do nothing okay let me do this quick and then we continue with the tutorial And now I change the names from all of the bones. Now we can make our character visible again. First we go here to object mode. And now let's go here and then click here on viewport display show in front. Now you can see that the bones are always in front of our character. Then go to edit mode and here in edit, edit mode now we make the adjustment from every bone. So now we start here with the shoulder with G we place the bone here. Let's go to the upper arm, select this part. What I did here, I deleted the toe bones because this in that case, this is just a basic tutorial. We don't need any toes here. But if you want, you can add some toes here later. And you can also add some fingers later or bones for the face, for the face expressions, for mouth, nose, eyebrows, eyes, whatever. Let's go to object mode. Now you see here we got this start animation, this crazy, this crazy stand position. So in that case, what I do, I go to zero, to frame number zero, and I go to the pose mode, select everything, and then Alt. R and then you can see that now our bone structure is exactly where with is identical with our character like we made the changes okay 
and then hit I and I insert a keyframe now for location and rotation. Now you can see on zero we get another keyframe. What we can do now with A we can select all the keyframes and then we can move them just one frame to the right side. You can see a frame zero now we moved to frame number one and all the other frames moved one step or one frame on into the right side okay now we go to pose mode select everything all the bone structure then we go to the object mode select the character and select the armature and then control and p set parent to with automatic weights and now select the armature go to the pose mode you can see here that our character is now rigged have a look you can see that the character looks a little bit strange The arms and the right leg is a little bit weird, but don't worry, we'll show you how to fix that. And you can see the eyes that they are, they are not connected with the armature, but we don't need the eyes in that case. But let me show you now how to fix the animation. We select the armature and then the problems we have to find out at first, you can see here it is the upper arms and this also the right leg the right lower leg makes the problem okay select the armature go to the pose mode select the bone then you can see here it is this motion rig leg dot r. We open and then you can see here these are all of the keyframes that they are saved now on this leg. What we do now, you can see all these keyframes are here in this row and here we can lock them or we can turn them off. Only the main keyframe we leave here, the keyframe on top for lag.r. Now you can see even better. It's not perfect yet because you can see it looks a little bit, yeah, it looks a little bit stiff. But here you can also add some new keyframes if you want, if you want to make some changes. But this is a lot of work, okay? I just show you how, where you can find it and then you can adjust it by yourself. So now let's go to the... This is the arm, to the upper arm bones. Here we do the same thing. We go here, we open the menu and then just turn off all of just uncheck everything it was the right side we made now we go to the other side let me show you this a problem I think this is L Okay, so it was my made a mistake, it was the other side, okay? It's, everything is okay, just the other side and now have a look. So 
So you can see that he got a little bit more this is the best I think yes it is the Z criterion rotation we do the same thing here Z criterion rotation and maybe here we have to make another adjustment No, this is all about the lower arm on this part. Yeah, but even better. Here you can fix all of the keyframes if it doesn't look good like in that case it's a little bit of work but if you understand how then you can do it very quick and easy okay and of course this kind of workflow it is much faster than do everything by yourself if you need a lot of animations for a special kind of character then this AI tool will be a great improvement and a big help and I think this tool will improve very soon and it will make everything much easier. If you found this tutorial was helpful then give it a like, subscribe to my channel and then see you in my next video. Bye!